You ever have those times where you're like, I probably shouldn't go down in there? And then you go down in there and... Thanks to Sunday for sponsoring this video. All right, it's another day of working. We've got the old red truck back in here because there seems to be a competition brewing and we got some work to do to this thing. If you'll look right here, leaf springs and some new shock. So this old truck has taken a beating and we put this big bumper on the front of it. Now it sets way low in the front. So we're gonna throw some springs under the front, some new shocks on it, maybe some parts the Hunter doesn't know about for our little oh, competition yeah. so that I can whip it. We'll see how this all turns out, but we gotta get her ready. I don't know when the competition's happening, but soon. We'll get going on this thing. Turbo on this thing. Don't we love how we have to fix it? See, he's not confident. Look at him smiling over there. He's laughing. He isn't confident in this truck. He has to do a whole bunch of stuff. Gotta do some I'm gonna show up. I'm to, gonna, you're yeah. just gonna show up. I'm gonna show up. I'm gonna whoop him. <laughs> that will be good. Yeah. We're just landing going this. You still think the old square body doesn't have it, huh? Nope. Oh wait, you did have to recover him, didn't you? I did. That was too easy. Keep going. A little more. Just like so. All right, so I'll show you what we got. We got new leafs which have more leaf springs in them these have two these have four should give it like a two inch lift which i imagine will set level when we're done so we'll put those in and we can help um pull you out cut them off huh? just fire a plasma cutter up and just do plasma <laughs> personally i would probably take these big bolts out first because i bet they're going to be in there for the sway bar okay and then we'll pull sway bar then we can just cut it, drop it on the ground. I'll start assembling leafing springs. They come with bushings? Yep, I got bushings for it. We're gonna need another table. There's a small bolt removed. Did you see that? I did. <sighs> you can cry. <laughs> but I'm over it now. All right, the lift kit we're putting on today is a rough country. They're not a sponsor or anything, but Basically, it's the cheapest lift kit I could buy. So we're putting it on, we're gonna test it out. It's, it's on the red truck, I mean, look at it. It's falling apart, rust everywhere. So I don't wanna spend a pile of money on this truck. I just need it good enough to beat Hunter, that's all. So I'm gonna go ahead, put these bushings in. We're gonna put a little grease on them first, slip them in, and then we'll grease the centers up and put them in and get them all ready for Ben. He should, by the time I get this done, he'll probably have the front end set in there by itself. So I need it. About need another hand. You don't worry, Hunter. I I'm got not, it under control. I'm not helping you. I know, because you don't want to help me win. Nope. I have a news flash for you. I don't even need your help. <laughs> yeah, good. After you see me win in the record games, you're going to be like, oh no. You're pretty full of yourself. What did here. I do here? What did I create? That's what you're gonna ask yourself. Oh, it's pretty deep over there. It's pretty deep. The older I get, I realize there's only one thing that still works good, and that's the smack talk. He is always just making noise. Sorry. I see the red light on for the set. So these are polyurethane bushings. I put grease on mine because I don't like to hear them squeak. Do they need grease on them? Probably not, but I put it on because I don't like squeaks and rattles. All right, just like that, I'll put the other side in and then we'll have the springs ready to go in. Let's cut them out, baby. Except you can't see. Still cut the front end. Easiest way I know how to get those old ones out. We're on borrowed time currently. Our power is gonna go out today at some point. It's snowing outside like bad. This is how you fix rusty bolts. 
All right, one side I'll cut the other one and then we're gonna obviously need a new bolt because I just cut it in half. All right, springs out, right? I'm gonna lift it up just a little bit more. That's good. That's probably as far as the, the old brake line's gonna allow that. Okay, pop springs out, we'll put some new ones in it. There you go, put it down, see your difference in that. Not a lot, other than these won't arch backwards. Yes. Oh, that's already looking like a winner. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just like so. It ought to ride better now. Those may have been the easiest ones I've ever put in. That was not bad at all. Okay, now it's gonna fall out. <laughs> zip tie? It's got a zip tie. That was, that was easy. It's close-ish. See that hammer thing right there? Oh, baby. One. Okay. That's it. All right. Tighten her down. Nice. What, are you getting nervous? No. We're going snow wheeling when we get this done. Oh yeah? We're going to get stuck, Hunter. I'll come pull you out. Oh yeah, it's gonna be perfect. Our brake lines are still gonna be long enough. We'll have some flex out of it. Hold on. All right. Are these any good? No. No, those, those weren't any good. Oh, let me compress that a little. We gotta stick the NOS bottle on her too. Yeah, we gotta have some, some go juice. So if it looks yeah. like, well, yeah, if it looks like Hunter's starting to pull in the lead, we'll go to the bottle. Oh yeah. We'll hit the go juice. All right. <clears throat> really, the lift kit's installed. We're gonna put some white wagon wheels on this. We'll take these tires off, throw them on the wagon wheels, and then we'll set it down and see if it sets level. If it doesn't set level, we may have to put a block in the rear. Back some old vintage right here. The first truck I really remember my dad driving was a 79 Chevy short bed, four wheel drive with white wagon wheels on it like this. Kind of brings her back. There's some uh, light dirt in there. Never even been off road though. It's like, sing it. See if this one's any good. There's some, yeah. New shock. Well, one more shock. Just the other side now. And then wheels. All right, that's what we got here. This shock is about to exit the rear end. It's got broken tabs both sides. We'll weld it up. Getting closer. Got one more tire to change. And then we can set it down and see if it sets level. Okay, we'll buzz this thing up. There's a little bit of rust there. Double hit the rust, or the well. Okay, yeah. It's there. Last one. This thing will be awesome. We still got a transfer case, a few oh. joints. Yeah, there's a couple of items. That's heavy. I like it. All it has to be is a little bit better than Hunter's. <laughs> Not happening. Not gonna happen, huh? It looked better in a scrap yard. It's almost where it came from. Right? Yeah, <laughs> pretty close. Yeah. All right, let's get our tools and we set her down. And... Oh yeah. She sets level, right? Yep. Not super lifted, just level, which is what we were after with this old truck. I like it. Now we fix the transfer case. We'll be ready to outwheel Hunter in a stock truck. No, it's not taking it. Look at look at the face. I can, I'm look. telling you. Yeah, it's not, I'm it's done not even gonna, saying anything. It's not gonna it's, happen, right? It's not happening. Maybe we'll run down and get a transfer case. Okay, now get this stuff. Okay, we'll go get a transfer case so we have it. How 
long do you want to <laughs> We're not going to get I'm stuck. Just checking. We're just going to ease over, throw it in, and be oh, back. Oh, you're driving the wood truck. That's right. Yeah. We'll be good. You ready to go out, Scout? Let's go. You ready for all this snow? Yep. All right, well, this ought to be fun. Two wheel drive. Looks like it's not gonna be a big deal. Unless you get mauled by a cow yeah. and get in the gate. <laughs> All right, we have arrived. I can't find my gloves. What did I do with them? Oh. You're, I'll run the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Nope, no gloves. All right, we're just getting cold. Oh, there it is. That's it, right in there. Way far deep. I'm going in. There she is. I know absolutely nothing about this transfer case. So we'll go put it in and see if it works. I thought I put the tone ring back in this for Landon's truck, the one we need, but maybe not. We'll know shortly. We got uh, parts we came for, under skit in the gate, we're out of here. We'll go home and see if this transfer case will fix our popping out of gear problems. Home again, home again. Art? Alright, let's see if we happen to put that back. Nope. I have no idea where that signal went. No clue. That sucks. Uh, let's just go to the table with that table. Okay, we gotta tear these both apart because they have to change this main shaft. We got different splines, so got it, we will go. Nylon's terrible. There seems to be some blue color in there, so. There's still some good parts in there. Yeah. That one's still attached. We need to pull this off to get it out, don't we? Yeah. What size is that big? I'll look on this one. Huge. Teflons actually look pretty good in that. Yeah, this one's still there. I don't think these are on the other one. Yeah. There we go. That can go back in it. Yep. Planetary. And then we just need to change that. Yep, that little piece is all. For the other one. Okay, all that for this little piece. Yep. Now we gotta do the same thing to that tranny just to harvest that piece. Nice. All right, one more piece. I don't know how it got all this mud on it. You know anything about that? Maybe. <laughs> Look at all that metal. Oh yeah, that's those chunks are normal, man. That's that's a normal driving yeah, yeah situation. Here, Lana, take that over and clean it. It's Whoa. a good thing you just got home from school, cause it's time to go to work. Oh yeah, there's metal leaking out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not oil? No, it looked like metal leaking out. Oh, Look at this stuff over here, Hunter. It's, oh it's liquid metal. Right there. Should come out. The piece we need. It's the part we were after. That's the difference. One will slip onto that, the other one won't. Okay, there's that. Push this shaft in for me, please. Four low action. Four low, baby. Nailed her. Right there, it should drop. Right there. Okay. That's the spot. And get this back in. Oh, hey, look at that. 
Hey, you take them when you can get them. You can. Yep. See this collar right here? Has to go over these all these bearings. So there's a roller all the way around on the shaft. Grease, grease and stick the bearings. Super fun. And there's only that many. So it'll be a minute. A little longer than a few minutes later. This is guaranteed to almost work. Would you look at that? Would you just look at that? Yay! All right, now we gotta find the rest of the parts. But I'm gonna wipe this mess off. We got singing in the background. Yeah. Quiet on the set. Huh? Right. Oh, it's nice singing. All right, well, let's see what else we can shove in here. All right, let's get that lined up there. There she's Okay, bolt it up. That ain't going nowhere. Okay, now we need this on. Um, we have to spray that out. Look at all that stuff in there. That's horrible. Okay, it should shift. All right, we got your four wheel. Four wheel. All of them still turning. We have a full time transfer case. That's not supposed to be full time. That should be neutral. We have, uh, I think we figured it out, but we've ran out of time today. Michelle says dinner's ready. Ben's got to go home, so we'll work on it tomorrow. Until then. It's morning again. We've slept on it and we're back. We figured the transfer case out why it was having some shifting problems. Ben figured it out. He sent me a schematic of it. We had, I'll show you. Too, too many, a thrust washer and a roller bearing, too many. We couldn't find them out of this one and we wondered why they were in there. So now we should be able to basically throw some silicone on this thing, slap it back together and wait for our uh, parts. We need seals. Once the seals are here, then she's done. We bolt it in and we go out and do some four wheeling in the snow, me and Hunter. Who's walking when we get stuck to come and get your truck? <laughs> That's the question. We're not getting stuck. But if we do, I'll pull you, I'll walk back. You'll walk to, back? Just to say I pulled you out. You need to get in shape for the tow truck games. Oh, I'm getting there. Because I plan on working your tail off down there. <laughs> I really do. I hope my tow truck works good enough that we're just drinking a cold beverage and riding around and having a good time. Laughing at Merlin and Rory. Be like, Psh, you guys are struggling. Reality's gonna set in. We're gonna be building a boom on the FJ <laughs> <laughs> and taking that to the record games. Be like, well, we didn't get ours finished. Doesn't work. How sad would that be? Here's the next best thing. This is all we got. I'm gonna put this thing together. Together forever. All right, let's put some bolts in this. I guess we could put a boom on the back of the old red. No. Dude, I have the old boom and stuff. We could have it on there. You know how cool that'd be just to show up and be like, we didn't get our gun mat. This is what we got. Okay. This truck's technically going to be better than it's been since I've owned it now. It'll stay in four wheel drive. You're probably in trouble, Hunter. If we had some seals, we could put this transfer case back in. Grandma, you ventured out on a day such as this? What is that? Transfer case transfer for this case. here truck. Oh, all right. We got to have it at prime so you can kick hunters behind. That's of course, that enough. it could have done that just stock. <laughs> she does all the, yeah. all the shifting things. Neutral. That's four high. Oh, well, that's two, that's four. Okay, we got them all, Hunter. That's a win. We've gone as far as we can go on the transfer case, but we knew we needed a U-joint. This one won't turn. Hopefully we have the right U-joint. We'll figure out which one of these works in it and we'll get back to you. All right, I think we figured out our U-joint. Now we just gotta go over here and heat this up and push it out. this side up and then we'll beat it with some hammers.
think we're gonna let that cool down just a bit. Then we'll go ahead, put a new U-joint in it. We're gonna go for it. It's still hot. Oh yeah, it's got directions. We're going old school hammer. So I pounded that up higher than I needed it because I wanted that to go on. Got to get a punch and set those in and we're good. All right, those are in. It moves like it's supposed to move. So I'm calling that a win. So got in the mail today. Mike sent Michelle a little gift, ABCs for kids or Michelle. So basically it, uh, C is for crankshaft. D is for distributor. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see her go through this. That's funny. So thanks, Mike. I'm sure it'll help her. Jason sent us some cool stuff for the lathe. A little boring bar. He's a machinist by trade, so he probably cringes when he watches me do stuff. Sweet. Thank you, man. Parts showed up and they brought us two sills. <laughs> we needed three. We needed this one as well. I just called Canab. They actually have it. So we're going to make a trip to Canab and go get it. And might as well get some lunch while we're there, right, Hunter? Might as well. Snowing outside still, so that'll be fun. Roads aren't bad though. There we go. Alright, we have arrived, as Siri would say. Go grab a seal, some lunch. Go back and finish this truck. No, this is just the truck that's gonna whip on Hunter's 16. We've got a little competition no, going. not happening. He thinks he can outwill a square body. In what? In his 2016. Six. It ain't. Pretty hard. <laughs> you need to see the square body before you. <laughs> it's a piece of junk. Thanks, man. Got him. We're out of here. Lunch and we're home. Whew. Jeez, it's a, it's a snowy one. All right, we appear to have gotten all the right parts. So this seal's a little special. It seals both ways. It seals the 90 weight in the transmission and the ATF in the transfer case, so. That was easy. I'll spin it around and put this one in. Put that on here so that seal doesn't leak. Got her. She's freaking heavy. Is that camera heavy, Hunter? All right. Uh, just so you know, I will whip you. In anything we do, you can't beat me, Hunter. That's race, foot race. I'm so fast. You don't want to do that. I do. I would like Have you not seen the trend going on? Nope. I'll show you here in a minute of the speed limit sign. When you live in a small town. I think we're back in, man. I'll tighten these bolts up, we'll put some drive lines on it, put some oil in it, and we'll see if it stays in gear. It's gonna have a better chance. Drive shaft going in. Getting nervous yet, Hunter? No. Drive line one in, put the front one in, fill it full of oil. So we lost audio again, but I'll give you the gist of what's going on. We're all put back together and we're gonna take this thing for a ride and probably do some stuff that we shouldn't in it. I let Hunter talk me into making bad decisions. <laughs> so here goes test drive. Right here he's like telling me, does your truck have pinned liner in the top? And I'm like, uh, no, my truck doesn't need it thumbtacks in the top of the roof. So right here, he's trying to talk me into going down a road that I know if I go down there, I'm gonna get stuck. <laughs> and I resisted the temptation the first time. And then we turn around and I couldn't resist on the way back. Like 
I double dog dare you to go. <laughs> I got feeling pretty confident. I went off the road and it worked kind of, but it kept popping out of four wheel drive. We didn't have the shifter adjusted, right? We're just stuck right now for a second, momentarily stuck. Now I'm feeling pretty confident and I've let him talk me into a bad decision here. We're driving down a road that we shouldn't be on in this truck and she pops out of four-wheel drive and we're stuck we're pushing snow over yep. the bumper where it pops out of four-wheel drive somewhere right here oh so. yep right here i'm trying to shift it in and we're stuck this whole time i was just feeling more and more confident that my truck is gonna just destroy this thing this truck is a piece of crap that hurts my feelings just a little <laughs> it's bit. true it was at this moment I knew we were walking home. Okay, explain to me now that we have audio. Well, you're gonna see us look like fools pointing and stuff because we didn't have any audio, but we're stuck. We popped out of four-wheel drive. I shifted it back into four-wheel drive. We went into a ditch and here we are. But the four-wheel drive all works. Everything seems to be okay. Now we just gotta try to get out of here. <laughs> You know what the smarter thing's gonna be to do? Call Dard. Calling. We're not connected to anything. It's not gonna call. No. Hello, Dar. We need you to come save us. Where are you? you come out on Derrickson's. We didn't make it too far. Paul decided to drive off in, the, in a ditch. Yeah, I had to walk up on the hill to get service. Paul's down off. Was down off that first hill. Yep. Good job, Dar, taking one for the team. Good thing you came right when we were leaving. Well, <laughs> this turned out about like we expected. The walk of shame. You ever have those times where you're like, I probably shouldn't go down in there. And then you go down in there and, well, we're walking. So, <laughs> Dar's gonna come and get us and, and we'll go get the wood truck and come and get this thing out of there. So pretty much we're just out uh, exercising for the tow truck Olympics here. Walking home because we're stuck and uh, yeah, no better way to get in shape, right? <laughs> what else do you do when it's 25 degrees outside and snowing on you? You just walk home. Hey, there's our ride. <laughs> I didn't take us long, did it? <laughs> so, we'll get home and fix this. All right, we're home again. We're gonna go in and warm up for a minute and uh, wait for Landon to show up. Then we'll go up and pull a truck out. I don't think anyone's gonna bother it. <laughs> no. no, it's stuck. All right, so don't tell Hunter this, but he may have a chance of beating me. I'm never gonna tell him that, but. <laughs> oh wait, there Do he I is. Think I think we could take my truck and maybe pull you out. And then... I think we're gonna need a winch. Oh, yeah, probably, yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, so. We're gonna be safe this time. We're gonna take Hunter's ride. We're gonna take the wood truck. We're gonna take Landon. We're gonna go do some filming. Show you guys uh, how to get a stuck truck out because I got it stuck. <laughs> this is like the walk of shit. If you end up pulling both of us out. Oh, it's happening. Oh, it's <laughs> happening. And we are off. I really hope I have to pull both of the trucks out. That would be cool. Got the wood truck warmed up. We're gonna go up, meet Hunter, and we'll see if we can go get this old red off the hill. But whose idea was it? I blame Hunter, basically. I knew it was a bad one, but it was still his idea. <laughs> Oh, right. 
right past me. <laughs> This is gonna be hard. All right, so Landon's gonna drive this thing. He knows how to drive the old girl. He's been driving it. So just don't turn the wheel. Okay. What's the first rule that you have to remember? Uh, never turn. Don't run over my dang rope. Oh, you guys right. Out. Don't run over my dang rope. Now listen, I'm gonna hit you. We're gonna go because we want to just go. So okay. have that thing in reverse spinning when you see me take off because I'm not gonna let off when I hit the end of it. Because this snow is actually way deeper. We haven't broke through the crust yet. So if we spin down, you're gonna be down here with your truck. <laughs> well, here we go. All right, we're rigged up. popped out all right i think we got him coached up he's in four wheel drive again we're going for it it was at this moment that nathan knew he f up oh he Great. He's gonna have to pull me. So we got the red truck out. The back bumper's a little bit uh, not as straight as it once was. Kids, they'll learn. He'll figure it out. I didn't yell at him too much. So let's go home and fix the transfer case. We're having a, having a father-son teaching moment right here. Come here, Land. I don't know if you guys can read that or not, but it says objects in mirror may be closer than they appear. That is true. Yeah, it's a true story. I found that out. <laughs> so, we got the old truck out. She works pretty good. We got a little adjusting to do on the shifter, but all in all, 
she's probably still going to outwill Hunter's truck. So, not happening. It's not <laughs> happening. It's a good day today. I'm sick of the snow. Bring on summer. But thanks for watching. So normally in March, we're getting ready to get our lawn prepped for the summer, but unfortunately, there's still snow everywhere. Hopefully some of you guys have lawns that don't have snow on it. If so, we got the thing for you. We'll flash back to when we actually had lawn instead of snow, and I'll show you how to use this stuff. Sunday is a subscription with cutting edge science to help you grow better, greener lawns with ingredients like seaweed, molasses, and iron. The brand uses soil climate and satellite data to model your lawn and build a custom plan just for your lawn, but only takes like 10 to 15 minutes to do your entire lawn and then you can just sit back and watch it it turn green all you have to do is type your address in and start your lawn analysis get your custom lawn plan in seconds get everything sent to your doorstep right when you need it receive customized shipment throughout the year to keep your lawn fresh so head on over to getsunday.com slash fabrats to get 20 percent off your customized order don't get me 